moments later. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We, therefore, the Lords spiritual and temporal of this realm, and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, do now hereby, with one voice and consent of tongue and heart, publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III, by the grace of God, of the United Kingdom, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James's Palace this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022. God save the king! God save the king! To a great cheer, the captain of the guard brings the troops out of the present and they will now ground their arms, place their rifles on the ground and prepare to give three cheers. They kneel down, place their rifles and return. So with joy, wherever you are, if you wish, join in with three cheers for the new king. Three cheers for his majesty the king. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Captain of the King's Guard will now start replacing of headdress, the recovery of the arms. And Dr. King of Arms, the Kings of Arms, the Heralds Perseverance of the College of Arms will then, along with the Heralds Extraordinary, 
leave from the balcony. And the principal proclamation of the new reign is done. We wait to find out the date of the state funeral of the late Queen, which will be announced later, but Thank you, Royal Officer. the nation in mourning has raised its head and will in the proclamations that take place across the United Kingdom, my see in Edinburgh. <laughs> the guns are firing in salute to the proclamation having been made and having completed that gun salute they fall out as the heralds and kings return into St. James's Palace. The state trumpeters, the last to leave from the balcony. Meanwhile, the Coldstream Guards, who form the King's Guard at the moment on the royal palaces, who have turned out for this moment, form back into position the Coldstream Guards band, who played for the first formal. playing of the national anthem to God save the king and they prepare to march they're saluting the color of the parade ground here in Friary Court the color which has been carried and lowered in salute was also adorned with two black mourning bands and also a wreath to mark that this is the anniversary of a battle honour for the King's Guard. because they fire 62 guns, 21 for the City of London, 21 for the Tower, and an extra 20 because it's a royal fortress. And the Honourable Artillery, the oldest regiment in the British Army there, firing the remnant of those shots from the gun salute as the King's Guard return to their duties, protecting Buckingham Palace and St James's Palace. And in Hyde Park too, the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery continue to so King George VI changed the name of the King's Troop. It had been the Riding Troop. On the Queen's accession, she wanted to respect her father by keeping the name the King's Troop throughout her reign. And now, of course, the title makes sense with the new King. Coldstream Guards Band return to the guardroom here at St James's Palace. Number two, number two. Back. Back. Number one, load, Carter. Number three, three. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.